Hello everybody, welcome back to my Learn Scratch channel and today I'm going to show you how to make a heart and star in Scratch. So sorry to say that the last video I, which I recorded was too long because I had to find the um, heart and star, I mean the music and in uh, my other laptop. But I know that it's so much fun though. So we are going to be actually, I'm going to be fast forwarding this project. And um, since I already made it, I'm going to show you how I did it. So um, now we're going to go ahead and um, make a new project. So I'll click on create. I'm going to go ahead and make it. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and make the, these, this project and I'll be right back after I make it. Okay, guys, so I already made this right. As you can see, I was typing these two ones and I made these two ones and that's so cool. Okay, guys, now we're going to be starting this project. So how to do this is, well, you'll need to drag out this one green file clipped and we're going to drag out one this right one. So, um, what we're going to do in the one print font click is when you go to looks category, there is a switch costume to um, pick random. And then we're going to also do this ghost effect thing. So, drag out the set ghost effect to zero. And we're going to go to operators and change that picked random to um, one to four since I made four costumes. And um, we're going to also be set ghost effect to zero. Now we're gonna go to that position. We're gonna point in direction 90. And then we're gonna also show it. So you know, whenever you hide it, it'll show back up. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Actually, um, I'll show you how to do this. So um, as you can see, we are here. Whoa, look at that. Just switch to a random costume. Whoa, isn't that so cool? Okay, guys, when this right clicked, we're gonna drag out two repeat loops. And we're gonna drag out two weight um, blocks. And we're gonna drag out um, weight. What? Okay. Um, we're going to be doing change ghost effect by 25 and change ghost effect by negative 25. And we're going to put this in order. It's going to do that. And we're going to wait 0 0.2 seconds. You can do, duplicate it if you want, but that's OK. OK, and now we're going to um, drag out this one, one seconds and we're going to drag out this next costume and put the next costume block right before the wait one seconds because we are going to um, it's going to switch to the next costume and it's going to wait one seconds and then it's going to appear again. How about we make it keep floating so it can keep floating or let's make it keep floating. How do you make it keep floating? Well, when green file click, drag out this control from the control category, drag out a forever loop and drag out a wait one seconds and drag out a 0 0.05 seconds uh, block and then do hmm, a glide. So it's gonna glide 0.6 seconds to that position. Like it's gonna be Okay, no, 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 no way. Okay, I'm just glide it here. Okay, there we go. It's gonna glide here. And it's gonna glide here. Okay, it's gonna keep gliding 0.6 seconds forever. So as you can see, and I'll put that back. You can see, changing it, changing it, and boom. Okay, now it's gonna keep floating while we make the backdrop. So as you can see, I already made the backdrop. It's where it was very easy and simple. On green file clicked. Switch backdrop, 
to backdrop two. I deleted the backdrop one. As you can see, we can name it. Um, okay, now um, what we're gonna do is we are going to be doing, um, we are, what are we gonna do? We are gonna be adding a sound. So forever loop, drag it forever loop. And then drag it gets her sound. I already went to the sound as you can see. Now I'm gonna show you how it's done. So that is the whole project. And I hope you enjoyed this simple sort of scratch tutorial. And I can't wait to see you next time. Bye guys. Till then, keep watching.